Hey everybody, JRSP here with another video, and today we're going to review another one of these older 40 card sets. Sorry about that blur right there. Uh, this one right here is the 1991 Ring Lords. Uh, it's a boxing set, uh, boxing personalities, 40 card set. It says limited edition, but I'm sure they made a zillion of them. Um, let's see here. Um, these have the same type of box as the Fax Packs Famous Golfer set I reviewed. Uh, exactly the same style of box, and when I say that, what I mean is like it has like this... Um, little slit right here which I'm not sure what that's for but the other one has it too and that's just a weird thing I've seen and noticed that they both have a really good set uh, Mike Tyson does have a card in this set but it was a sample or a promo and it was actually never made um, it was never, never made into the set so I'll show you guys a picture of that uh, that card goes for uh, really strong money uh, and surprisingly this is another one of those sets that you can pick up for relatively cheap um, but graded these cards you know PSA 9s can go for 50 to well over a hundred and PSA 10s can sell for several hundred dollars um, really strange and shocks me maybe it's because you know the borders and surfaces are extremely um, tough uh, kind of weak card stock and I'll show you here in a bit lots of black uh, edges and borders and so on and I noticed some like you know the paper dust snowflakes like from when they cut the cards I'll show you that too uh, but a great uh, oh, sorry guys, my dog was barking. I had to pause for a second. And I had to just quiet her down. So here's a, here's a look at the set, and here's what I was uh, talking about. You got these snowflakes up here. Uh, you can kind of get them off a little bit. Now, this was a factory sealed set. I pulled the plastic off, so it's never been out of the box. And you see the condition on the top right there. You see some white on these corners, too. And we'll take a look at the rest of the cards to see what they look like. But first card there, Brian Mitchell. And you got a Vander, Ho or Vander Holyfield. Now this is considered his rookie card. Um, anywhere you look, and this one actually looks pretty good, uh, condition-wise. I'm not sure what the centering is supposed to look like. I imagine you can just measure up the uh, this right down here, um, the left to right, and then that's kind of how you can get an idea of the left to right centering. It looks like it, it could be a hair hair off. And I imagine the top and bottom, under the gold and above the gold. So this one. It's probably centered relatively good, in my opinion. Um, could very well get a PSA 9, possibly. Uh, and then here's a look at the back of the card. So yeah, this is considered a rookie card for Evander the Real Deal Holyfield. Uh, and this is a picture of him when he had both complete ears. So there's that. Take a look at the rest here. We've got a lot of other good, good uh, stars in here, too. So you got Donovan Ruddick. James Buster Douglas, I believe he's one of the first guys to uh, to beat Tyson or knock out Tyson or something like that. But I remember Buster Douglas. In fact, I met him a long time ago, too, at a card show. He came to do some signing. Uh, Tim Witherspoon. Uh, Ronaldo Snipes. No relation to Wesley. No, I'm just kidding. I have no idea. Uh, Alex Stewart. Carl Williams. Bruce Selden. And there's Tommy Morrison. He was the one that was uh, in Rocky Five. Uh, ended up getting AIDS. Ended up becoming a horrible drug addict, and so on. So that's him back in his prime. Uh, Lennox Lewis, another great one. Uh, again, you know, considered a rookie card. Francis, uh, Francesco uh, Damiani. Sounds Italian or Spain, Spanish. Let's see. He's born in yeah Italy. Yep. So it's right there. Uh, Michael Dokes. A lot of these guys you can get uh, autographs of too, the ones that are still around. Ray Mercer, Michael Moore, another good one right there. Robert Daniels, beast, scary guy to face right there. Uh, Virgil Hill, Thomas Hearns, Frank Tate, Dennis uh, and Andreas, I believe. Uh, Roberto Duran, this one actually sells for pretty good money, a Roberto Duran rookie, uh, he's got a pretty good following in this card, like I said, a uh, pretty good card, sells for strong money, uh, Christoph Tiozzi, I believe, Julian Jackson, Michael McCollum, Michael Nunn, uh, Iran Barkley, Chris Eubanks, sells for good money in higher grade, uh, Meldrick Taylor, I got a bunch of these sets too, Marlon Starlin, Starling, sorry. Uh, Glenwood Brown. You got Mark Brayland. Uh, Julio Cesar Chavez sells for really good money too. Uh, graded, uh, even ungraded, they're selling for pretty pretty good money. A lot of, it's so weird. Like you can buy the whole set for a few bucks, but then these cards individually it might be fifteen or twenty five bucks. You know, thirty five bucks. Uh, so it's it just 
kind of baffles me. Uh, Hector Camacho. Pernell Whitaker. He had a funny nickname. What was that? Sweet Pea. Pernell Sweet Pea Whitaker. <laughs> All right. Luis Mendoza. Orlando Canizales. Michael Carbaja. I don't know how to say that. And the last is the great one. Muhammad Ali. They put one of him in this set, even though it was after his career was over. But still a great card. Sells for good money and higher grade. Oh, and got Tracy Spann. Uh, for the last card, let's take a quick peek at the back of that Muhammad Ali. Anybody wants to read that, you can go ahead and pause it. Uh, all right, well, you guys have a great rest of the day. If you enjoyed these videos with the uh, little sets, just kind of preview on them. Uh, let me know in the comments below, and I've got a zillion more uh, oddball ones. Uh, and I'm happy to do it. So you guys have a good one. Later.